Hey everyone, this is John B, aka Smooth Chocolate here. As you can tell, I got myself a haircut this past uh, Sunday actually, and right now it feels really good because before it was just so poofy and out of control that it just got so bad I thought I was going to freaking just kind of just faint from just having too much hair on my head, which is freaking crazy. Oh my goodness. But anyway guys, I'm making this vid because I want to answer the questions that people ask me on my channel update video some time ago. And I'm going to give you the A's to, the, to your Q's right about now. And for those that didn't get a chance to ask any Q's in my channel update video back then, uh, you can ask me so in this vid, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alright guys, without further ado, let's begin the, the video. The first one comes from Sam Limbardo. What's up Sam, how you doing man? And the question is, if you were to start in a Goosebumps book, what would that book most likely be called? I want to probably say, um, Welcome to Dead House. At first, I really didn't like that book because, of, you know, having the whole movie experience because moving for me back then was kind of crazy and hectic and kind of sad at the same time, too. But I love mysteries, and this book would be a pretty good way for me to get more involved in a mystery and hopefully have more of an understanding about what goes on in the story than just have the whole thing be rushed because that's what we pretty much got in the actual Welcome to the House book. Maybe at some point, you know, if they ever do like a, um, I don't know, but reboot, but kind of like a continuation to the book, I would most likely want to read it, and I hope that's when it has more explanation about the town, the town's people, than the first one did. But thanks, Sam, for your question. The second one comes from Bandit Griggs. What's up, Bandit Griggs? What's going on? And Bandit asks, what area do you live in? New York. New York City. As locally as you feel comfortable giving an answer. Reference of San Fran. Okay, San Fran. San Fran. 49ers, baby! 49ers! Let's go! <laughs> he also asks, Also, what is your favorite Goosebumps book and video game? My favorite one is... I know I said I wanted to do Welcome Dead House and um, what kind of book I want to star in, but my favorite one of all time is um, The Ku Klux Doom. I love the book very much. Um... My favorite video game, that's kind of a toss-up. I kind of love anything from the Donkey Kong Country series to anything Mario Galaxy-wise. So I hope I can put those two together as a tie because that's the kind of things I kind of like. I'm sorry. I really hate choosing between those two because those two are fine as heck to me. They really are. And hey, thank you for your question, Bandit Griggs. And next question comes from TBX Nintendo. And, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? And he asks, what game are you looking forward to get most, uh, the most this year? Uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If I have to choose between one of those two, I want to go with Violet. I really do like Violet. If I ever have a daughter someday, I want to name her Violet, too. You know, that's just my thing with that. <laughs> Actually, there's another one as well, too. I'm kind of looking forward to get Splatoon 3, but... Pokemon Violet is the one I'm really hyped to get this November. We will have to get it. Thanks, man, for your question, buddy. Next one comes from Luke Monroe. What's up, Luke? How you doing, man? And he asks, what is your favorite Goosebump book? Uh, and my favorite Goosebump book is The Cook Clock of Doom. And Sam Libero is back again. And he asks, who is your current celebrity crush? I don't know if I really have one. I would probably say, uh, who do I choose? Maybe Drew Barrymore, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Drew Barrymore, I guess, is my favorite celebrity crush show. I don't really have, you know, that many actually, but, you know, I guess I'll probably say her. And the last one comes from Mr. Guy, and he asks, did you ever have a channel before this one? Actually, my friend, no, I did not. I actually had this channel first. So, yeah, I had uh, my channel that I've been having since 2013, actually, believe it or not. Um, I wasn't really too much into making videos at first, before it was called um, John B, a.k.a. Smooth Chocolate at that point, before someone gave me the notion to make it uh, Smooth Hot Chocolate, actually. Add to this day now, too. 
But uh, before I used to have a channel that was uh, making the same things I made before, and it got taken down because someone got butt hurt by some comment I made. I don't know what it was, but I guess it probably took too, too, too much offense to it. And uh, that's the reason why I had to change it over and to make uh, this channel. But ever since then, guys, I've had this channel for, you know, quite a long while, and I hope that I, you know, keep making new friends. I don't look at my friends as subscribers. I look at more of you just friends and my family on my, on my YouTube channel. And I just hope it keeps on growing to, you know, great heights and, you know, hope to still keep on making good content for you guys, too. I'm starting to learn more about how to do editing when it comes to my videos and make the backgrounds look nice and, you know, somewhat possess you, too. So I hope that you guys will like it over time. Still learn with it as I go. <clears throat> as I go, sorry. So guys, um, so guys, thank you for your questions. And once again, if there's any of you that want to ask me any other questions that you didn't ask me during this video, or if you want to ask me new questions too, then let me know in the comments down below, guys. All right, everyone, take care. Thank you for the questions. I'll be here for you guys as always. Until then, guys, take care and peace out and keep being smooth.